there's nothing wrong with a run-of-the-mill golden retriever or chihuahua. You can look at them and know exactly what they are. But what if you want your dog to stand out? Well, then you could look at adopting a rare breed. This is Goblin, he's my Thai Ridgeback. Goblin, look at you! From the hairless variety to one that sells for upwards of $10,000, here are 15 of the rarest dog breeds in the world. Number 15. Merle Bully. A Merle Bully is not a dog you see every day, and if you do see one, you can almost guarantee that it cost the owners more than a down payment on a fancy sports car. Merle is the name for a coat pattern on a dog. Rather than a particular color, Merle is a pattern that's caused by a gene that alters the pigment. The, they live for the treats. That's their life. For a long time, breeding Merle dogs was frowned upon for the risk of deafness, blindness, and other health problems. However, Eric Gray and wife Natasha knew the risk only lay in breeding two Merle dogs. Therefore, their breeding business of mega-built bullies in British Columbia, Canada was born. The pair are the proud owners of the world's first XL Merle bully, called Aftermath, who weighs in at a whopping 130 pounds. Aftermath was the result of a female Merle crossed with a double XL bully. At birth, he weighed just two pounds. Now, Aftermath is a one in a million dog, with beautiful coloring, a solid structure, and a lovely temperament. He has sired several litters of puppies, and his sperm has been sent all over the world. His puppies even fetch $10,000, the same price as his stud fee. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. <laughs> Number 14. Black Pitbull. Most people would have seen red nose and blue nose pit bulls. They are highly sought after as family pets, but are reasonably common throughout the dog world. In fact, most colors of pit bulls are common because of the years of different gene types through generations of the breed. But as it turns out, an all black pit bull is quite hard to come by. So we have here Pantera and Jordan. They're here for the first time. It's the first time. And as a result, they often come with a hefty price tag. The only real difference between a black pit bull and other colored pit bulls is the color. Sometimes their eye color is darker, but their size and shape are very similar to other pit bulls. Even their personality isn't all that much different. Remember, pit bulls and other dog breeds are products of their environment more so than their genetics. The black pit bull also looks quite similar to the Canis Panther, which is an all-black dog made up of four breeds. When you breed a Great Dane and a Doberman Pinscher with a black Labrador Retriever and American Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Canis Panther is the result. The four dogs were chosen for their guarding abilities, protectiveness, and loyalty. Number 13. Catal Baroon. If you're searching for a hunting companion that looks just a little bit different from other furry friends, then the Catal Baroon is a worthwhile option. This rare breed of dog originates from Turkey, and its name means split nose. <laughs> While that's kind of an absurd name for a dog breed, it'll all make sense when you see it. The nose of this dog develops in what looks like two pieces, with a thin layer of skin joining the two. While some people think the splitting of the nose makes it a better hunter, it's merely a cosmetic feature. The Katal Baroon, which also goes by the name of the Turkish Pointer and Split Nose Pointer, is man's best friend in the great outdoors. This dog has has incredible stamina and requires a lot of physical and mental stimulation to keep it out of trouble. In the right environment, though, it makes the best friend. The Catal Baroon has a lifespan of around 12 years and has a classic pointer look. It has triangular ears, colored patches on a white body, and stands at about 20 inches tall. 
Number 12. Mexican Hairless Dog If you like being the center of attention, then you certainly will be if you turned up to your local dog park with a Mexican hairless dog. With a name that you'll barely be able to pronounce, Sholo eats quaintly. There are plenty of ways this pooch is one of the rarest in the world. Sholo, that's yeah. how you say it, isn't yeah. it? Sholo is a squinty if I've got it right. The breed comes in three sizes, standard, miniature, and toy. And you can also choose from hairless or coated. The coated variety has a short and flat coat, and the hairless dog just has a tough and smooth layer of skin. Even the coloring of this unique breed is something special. If you decide that a show low eats queenly is for you, then you can opt for one that's black, slate, gray black, bronze, red, or liver colored. Whichever color you get though, you can expect it to be a faithful companion. Mexican hairless dogs are intelligent and thoughtful. They also move with grace and elegance and furrow their forehead when deep in thought. Even though they appear to be delicate, this breed is surprisingly robust and strong. That might be why they were one of the most popular dogs in ancient Aztec and Maya times as healers and guides to the underworld. Number 11. Bergamasco Sheepdog You might be wondering why we're showing you a picture of a janitor's mop instead of one of the rarest dog breeds in the world. But take a closer look. This is a real dog. The Bergamasco Sheepdog is not one that you'll see all that often and was first bred by shepherds in Persia over 2,000 years ago. What stands out the most about this dog is, of course, its coat. It has loose mats of three different hair textures that make it look like it hasn't seen a bath or brush in years. This layer of felt-like fur protects the dog's body and legs from the cold, not to mention wild predators in the Italian Alps, where the pooch originates. But aside from its fur, there's a reason why this dog is man's best friend. It is a hard worker. They also have a heart of gold and are very loyal, loving, and bright. You'll even find that they're easy to train and will watch over loved ones vigilantly. They can be a little aloof with strangers, but a bit of time can make all the difference. This rare dog is every farmer's dream. Number 10. Tibetan Mastiff Dog The Tibetan Mastiff is a dog that makes you want to snuggle up with it and nestle your face in its fur. They are giant, fluffy, and ridiculously cute. But before you do all that, it, it pays to know a bit about this rare dog breed. Tibetan Mastiffs were bred as guard dogs for property and livestock hundreds of years ago in Tibet. <laughs> hence the name Tibetan, if you didn't make that connection already. They stand at about 26 inches to the shoulder and can weigh well over 100 pounds. But under all that fluff is a muscular, solid dog that means business. But if you think they'll be stomping around your home knocking everything over, you'd be wrong. They are surprisingly agile and light-footed, which means they can surprise anyone trying to break into your home. They also have V-shaped ears, a broad head, and a beautifully noble face with expressive brown eyes. While you would need to be an experienced dog owner to bring one of these doggos home, you'll likely enjoy the protection and personality they bring into your household. Number 9. Thai Ridgeback it's okay to be a little fearful when you see a Thai Ridgeback for the first time. After all, they do look slightly terrifying. It took us a good eight to nine months before we found our first Thai. Thai Ridgebacks are muscular dogs of a medium size. They come in blue, black, fawn, or red, and quite often have spotted black or blue tongues. Even their fur is unique, with them getting their name of Ridgeback from the way the fur on their back grows in a different direction to the rest of their body. While their unique looks are one reason why people adore this rare breed, their personality is a whole different one. 
They are a loyal, loving pet, but also one that can be a protector for your family. They were bred for hunting and guarding, and are both independent and self-sufficient by nature. Thai Ridgebacks can also be quite suspicious of strangers, and are incredibly protective of their property. They are also reserved and have a high prey drive, while also being quite intelligent. If you fancy such a dog, then make sure you're by no means a novice with dog ownership. Number 8. Basenji Are you looking for a companion to chew all your shoes and socks and anything else it can find? Oh, then boy do we have the dog for you. The Basenji comes from the Congo and was initially bred to control village rodent populations and flush out the small game. They are small 16 to 17 inch high dogs with short coats, curled tails, and cute little wrinkled foreheads. Their almond-shaped eyes almost look a little human-like, and they are both inquisitive and sweet-faced doggos. But don't let their sweet, adorable faces fool you, for these dogs are gonna keep you on your toes. Anything you leave on the ground is fair game to be chewed, and you're gonna need to offer them a lot of exercise and stimulation. The Basenji can also require a lot of patience to train, so they are not for first-time owners. They suit smaller homes due to their small size, but they need wide, open spaces to explore. Remember, they have high prey drives to hunt out small game, so a rural environment is the best one for this rare dog breed. Number 7. Azawak the Azawak is a hound dog that you won't see all too often in your neighborhood. In fact, you could even describe them as rare. They live for up to 15 years and are a West African sight hound. While you can find them in the United States, they are far more common in the likes of Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso. More under control, so he'll see a bird and he'll look at me. But even though they aren't that common, their features are distinctive enough for you to know an Azawak when you see one. They can be a sandy fawn color, red, blue, black, brown, and white, or any variation of these colors. Their heads often have a black mask, and there can sometimes be white markings on their tail, bib, and legs. They're not a dull dog, that's for sure. Azawak are beautiful guardians and companion dogs. They are also gentle, affectionate, and protective of their people and property. That's why they make amazing family pets. But before you rush out to track down an Azawak for your family, it's worth knowing that they can be quite standoffish, especially to strangers. Yeah, same. They also don't like being touched by people they don't know. Still, once you get to know them, they will be your new best friend. Number 6. Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog If you live in Louisiana, then there's one dog you're probably gonna see a lot more than any other, and that's the Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog. <laughs> As leopard-like as dogs can get, this charmer is a faithful family companion that steals the hearts of all who see it. The dog breed is of Choctaw origin, and its name means Sacred Lake. It's also the only dog breed that is thought to have originated in Louisiana. But aside from its family tree, this dog has plenty to offer the average pet owner. It was named the official state dog of the state in 1979, and has a beautifully striking appearance. Seriously, you won't find all too many dogs that look like this one. It's also bred to work in forests and swamplands and is medium to large with a short coat. However, if you've never owned a dog before, the Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog is not for you. They need a firm owner and someone who can be the boss. They also need a lot of stimulation and exercise to keep them out of trouble. Number 5. Bedlington Terrier This cute little cotton bud might be rare, but that doesn't mean it's not desirable for anyone who wants a faithful and fluffy companion. The Bedlington Terrier is named after an English mining shire where it was bred and has plenty of desirable traits. 
It has a curly coat, tasseled ears, fleecy head, and an arched back. It also appears to have Whippet Sighthound in its family tree. Basically, this dog is as unique as they come. They move with a light spring in their step, and if they catch a whiff of a small critter, they're off like a bolt of lightning. And you'd hope so, for they were originally bred for killing vermin and their hunting instincts. Still, they're just as happy to be by your side as they are frolicking out in a field. They will be your couch companion, housemate, an athlete, and an alert watchdog. <laughs> It's still worth remembering that the Bedlington Terrier is a terrier, though. If you own this breed, you're not gonna want to own anything smaller than it, such as rodents or cats. Number 4. English Foxhound once upon a time, you would have purchased or bred an English foxhound to pursue foxes in the countryside. Well, duh, foxhound is in their name. Their stamina, long legs, and deep chest made them perfect for the hunt. Not to mention their love for hunting in packs and insane sense of smell. <laughs> But today, the English foxhound is not that common and not used for fox hunting. Instead, they are family companions. Sometimes, you even see them as show dogs in foxhound performance trials. These scent-driven, sociable doggos are driven by instinct and are very much hardwired for the thrill of the chase. So if you're looking for a sofa snuggle buddy, you won't find one in the English foxhound. Instead, you'll find a dog that doesn't care for much other than chasing, running, and doing their own thing. Even training is out of the question if they don't feel like it. This breed is not one for first-time pet owners, and it's certainly not one for anyone who happens to have cats, rats, rabbits, or any other furry little critter that you're quite fond of. Number 3. Norwegian Lundehund On the islands off Norway's west coast, puffins used to be one of the only sources of food for the farmers who lived there. But puffins, which also go by the name of sea parrots, are not the easiest critters to catch. Instead, you needed to rely on man's best friend. But not just any dog would do. Farmers needed the Norwegian Lundehund. The Norwegian Lundehund was specifically bred for the purpose of puffin hunting. So much so that the word puffin is literally in their name. Lunda is the Norwegian word for puffin. They are a spitz type dog with a curved tail, double coat, and triangular ears, but there are also plenty of unique traits about this dog too. Each foot has six toes and an extra paw pad as well. They are also known for their elastic neck, which can remind you of the famous scene in The Exorcist. But less terrifying, of course. The dog can crane its head so far back that it touches its spine. Its ears also fold shut, and its forelegs can extend to the side of its body thanks to its flexible shoulders. Puffins are now protected, so this dog's job is redundant. Still, they make for a fun and energetic dog to have on your farm. Number 2. Otterhound Dog Otterhounds are rare dogs that were bred for hunting otters back in the 18th century. There's even mention of them as early as the year 1100. As otters put fish stocks at risk, they were the answer to a growing problem. Today, these boisterous and lovable dogs are as rare as they come. There are only about 350 in the United States and Canada, and fewer than 1,000 in the entire world. But who wouldn't want an otter hound as their faithful companion? They have a beautiful personality, a rough double coat, and webbed feet. Their aptitude for swimming makes them perfect friends for the water lovers in your family. They also have an amazing sense of smell and can follow underwater trails for crazy distances. 
Once they reached an otter, it took no effort at all to take down a razor-clawed, feisty, and sharp-toothed otter before it knew what it hit it. <laughs> Today, they're more of a family dog, but they also like to keep their independence. They'll make you smile with their crazy antics, but they're just as happy to be off doing their own thing. Number 1. Finnish Spitz The Finnish Spitz is a very special dog, and that's no understatement. It has been the national dog of Finland since around 1979, and it's even mentioned in many Finnish patriotic songs. It's clear that the Finnish people are quite passionate about this dog, but why? Well, firstly, it's quite rare. There have only been around 2,000 registered annually, and even less in the early 1900s. It's also one of the healthiest dog breeds, with a lifespan averaging up to 15 years. If you wanted a dog that would remain your faithful companion for as long as possible, then the Finnish Spitz would be it. The foxy-faced, flame-colored dog is a hunting dog that has no fear. It uses a unique type of tracking and loves to bark. But even their bark is something special, for this dog's vocal range makes it a pleasure to listen to rather than an annoyance. They are also alert dogs that are a bit sassy but loving, and not at all shy with strangers. You also can't help but have your heart melted by their curved tail and lively expression when their ears perk up. Smart, sensitive, and entirely captivating, the Finnish Spitz definitely fits the title of man's best friend. There are literally hundreds of dog breeds in the world, from common to extremely rare. Some are companion dogs, while others are bred for the purpose of hunting, tracking, or guarding. Have you seen any of these in person, or own any? Would you buy any of them? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!